welcome again let's make a small tutorial on navigation active so if you go uh, in our project full project uh, location in our browser you can see that there is a navigation and this is very small navigation in here so when you will click in here uh, it will go in home page when you will click in here it will go in your about page but you can see that this active class is not changing so in this tutorial we will uh, change this active class uh, when you click in here it will be active and this we this task we will done in this tutorial so let's see so you will follow a very simple procedure to done this work i'm just going in element nav.php and here in top i'm going uh, write a php tag in my php tag so first what we will do my plan is I will grab here the action name and also controller name and uh, because uh, there is only one controller but it may there in your project there has uh, lots of controller uh, and there has uh, many actions also so this is the actions and this is the whom about and clear contact action so I want to grab this uh, controller name and also this action name so how we can do this in catfish so I have to just uh, uh, take a variable for example this is the controller name c name and i have to write this and request and there is a method called get param and in this get param if you send the controller and then if you just echo this controller name c underscore name and exit here after save if you go and reload your page, you will see the controller name in here. So same thing you can do if you just copy this line, paste it in here, and if you make it the action name, and if you send uh, echo this action name and save in here, you will see the uh, action name. If you send the parameter action, you will send see the action name in here. So. So now we have a uh, controller name and also we have action name so we can use a simple condition to active our link so for example now in here i'm just uh, giving this comment in here go here reload our page and changes this uh, class name example i'm changing this active to bg warning this is just just for a test purpose so it's uh, you can uh, give your own class uh, uh, I think it will your class will be standard not like this so when you will reload your page you will see the uh, background warning that's a bootstrap class we are seeing in here so when you will click in here it should go in here so we can give now a simple condition in here I'm just removing this here to here and going a PHP tag and uh, I'm echo and giving a terminal operator yeah call action name so if my action name equal boom then question mark and we will give a class name bg warning in here otherwise it will be empty the so same thing i'm going to copy and paste it in here and also in here so giving the name uh, it's called uh, action is about so i'm just changing this about and changing this to contact then after save then go here reload our page you're seeing that it's gone to about when you click in home it will come in home when you click in about it will go in about so this is a very simple and very small tutorial uh, so the main theme in this tutorial is how we can uh, grab the controller name and action name then we are able to give any condition uh, anywhere in our view so let's see the next tutorial one uh, thank you for watching this tutorial